Hi, this is Kevin from Christ Connection, and when I woke up this morning, I was thinking about this video. I got so excited, I couldn't go back to sleep. It was a little early, but I, I was just excited about what I had the opportunity to share with you. Because a couple days ago, I was talking with this lady, and she was asking about the 30,000 foot view of what's happening in prayer ministry and Christ Connection in specifics. But I want to tell you a story. Uh, you may be familiar with the International House of Prayer. Uh, it's located in Kansas, uh, in the Kansas City, in the United States, and they have since 1999, uh, 24/7 prayer has been going on in that location. But what you might not know is, at the exact same time, the exact same day, in Europe, there was someone who's starting the 24/7 prayer movement there. And over 10,000 uh, groups and kind of houses of prayer have been started out of that. God is up to something, starting a prayer movement. He's at work in starting a prayer movement. I was sitting down with one of my mentors, and he pulled out these sheets of uh, sign-up sheets from China, where people were in China were coming up and signing up uh, for time slots to be a part of praying around the clock for God to do something new. But unfortunately, the average Christian in the average church is that if there's a prayer ministry that's going on, there's three to seven people in that prayer service, and they feel disconnected. They feel uh, not. They may hear stories about these other things, but they uh, they feel disconnected and feel like they can't be equipped to to make a difference in their location. The average pastor uh, may hear these things and and want to do something for their to take the culture of prayer to the next level in their church, but don't know how because they feel overwhelmed with all the things that's going on in their location. But we live in an exciting day. We live in a day that technology and uh, the power of travel allows us to light fires around the world. There, we're working on a project right now as a ministry uh, targeting uh, with social media uh, one particular country. And this isn't a commercial, but uh, if we had a donation of $2,000 come in with this project that we could literally impact a hundred thousand people. Now that's not just you know figurative you know talk. That is literally we could impact a hundred thousand people because of the power of technology and the power of being able to uh, equip on a multiplying scale. We have over or over two hundred fifty pastors that are saying you know let me be equipped and trained in the ministry of prayer, and that could just grow and grow. And the power of this ministry is the fact that we go, whether maybe it's me speaking, and when I sit down, when I stand in front of a congregation and challenge them and give them tools in the life of prayer, I look into their eyes, and I, in my mind, I realize, I've read the history books. I'm a nerd. I've read the history books. It only takes one individual who commits to praying at a new level could change an entire church. And that's the power with focusing on 100,000 people to pray for their pastor and their church. It creates a, a, a focal point. Because the local church, as someone has said, is the hope of the world because Jesus flows through the local church. And if we can equip and train and get that church where they're praying for their pastor, and all of a sudden the pastor goes to the next level. And they the excitement of as they're praying for their church goes to the next level. A church in this day and age can all of a sudden reach out to a new group of people and change their city. Maybe it's a herding group, maybe it's an ethnic group, and they all of a sudden because that church comes alive through the power of prayer. We literally live in an age where you could jump on a plane and go to one of the darkest countries of the world because they want tourism. I'm thinking of a specific country. They want tourists to come. And it's a country with 99% of the population doesn't have a relationship with Jesus Christ. And you could get on a plane and go there and be a salt and a light. But that happens as a church gets excited and begins to believe for more. As a church begins to believe in, for more, a group of friends could get together. And this is not just, uh, again, you know, just big talk. 
a group of friends could get together and pray together and God could inspire their heart and that out of that inspiration they could get called to action because prayer leads to action and they could get excited and get a vision from God of what they're to do and they could raise funds and sponsor a well in a place in the world that doesn't needs just needs water and change the hundreds of lives for the better and that's the power that's the trickle down effect of what co committing to prayer and committing to being a person of prayer and being involved in the prayer movement can do it not only gets people excited about prayer it gets people excited about being a part of the body of Christ and connecting to God's vision and that vision that activates them to touch the world and so let me encourage you today to read up your commitment to be a person of prayer. Re-up your commitment to be involved in the mission of raising up movements of prayer in your location. Maybe you're just going to be one of those people who jumps on a plane and goes someplace that makes a difference. By your prayers, maybe you're going to be the person who prays for your pastor and sees something come alive there. But we're here to be a resource to you. We're here to be an encouragement to you. We're here to spark more and and more people to get involved and make a difference by your prayer. So I'm excited today with the possibility. I hope that you are too. You can make a difference. And again, if you don't uh, know how you can, I'm going to put in the, uh, the notes uh, the idea that uh, you have an impact on possibly 40,000 people. You can give. You can do all sorts of things. But let's be a people who pray and go after God. Thank you and God bless you.